On my recent projects, I'm getting this error code when I um, attempt to download a file uh, to my microbit computer. So the error code is um, uh, unhappy face 5, 2, 1. And it sometimes changes, um, the, at other times it's um, error code 537. So let's explore and find out what's going on here. You can see that after I downloaded it, it comes up with another error code, which is this time 5, 5, 6, 5, 6, or 56. So there, there's a different error code this time. So uh, the programs come up again with an error, but it's not. It's a different error. This is a, an error that I've created. It's not a downloading error, and the program's working. So um, it's a COVID-19. You can see the uh, distance of my hand when it gets too close. Uh, the uh, NeoPixels go red, and when I go further away, remove my hand. Uh, you can see that I'm about. Um, two and a half meters away, 248 centimeters away from the uh, detecting surface. So let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, on the uh, screen, I've got um, make code in a Chrome browser. And the program's quite simple. It's um, it's a social uh, distance trainer for COVID-19. Uh, so um, what I'm trying to do is to get the program downloaded into my micro bit. And there's two ways of doing that. Um, one way is to um, use the uh, file Explorer. And um, if I try to do that, I will can save the program on my download area. And if I look at... Um, the download area, open the, bring it across. So I'll just, it's on the other screen. Now we'll just bring that across now. So it's uh, just taking a while to come across. Here it is. Now um, I'm going to have a look at the um, download area. And you can see the file is uh, here. And um, if I attempt to um, uh, copy that and put it into my micro bit, my, you can see on the file explorer that micro bit is over here. So I'll bring it down and um, I'll, I'll put it in. So it's downloading. And um, it's come up this time. Uh, so if we have a look, we'll just repeat that on the um, on the uh, computer. So it's actually uh, come up with a, a different error code this time. So uh, here you can see that after I downloaded it, it comes up with another error code, which is this time five five. Six, five, six, or fifty-six. So there, there's a different error code this time. So what, what we might try now is go back to our uh, make code, which is on Chrome, and uh, this time I've got it connected to um, USB on my Windows PC. So you can see the connection. Instead of using this method, I'm going to use web USB and download it. So I'm downloading now, and you can see it's just gone in. And uh, we'll have a look to see what the result of that is. So uh, the program's come up again with an error. But it's, not, it's a different error. This is a, an error that I've created. It's not a downloading error. And the program's working. So um, it's a COVID-19. You can see the uh, distance of my hand 
when it gets too close, uh, the uh, NeoPixels go red. And when I go further away, remove my hand, uh, you can see that I'm about um, two and a half metres away, 248 centimetres away from the uh, detecting surface. Hi, I'm Phil, and I've noticed lately I'm getting more downloading errors when I'm trying to transfer programs from my Windows PC uh, to the Microbit computer. It's not happening all the time, and uh, it's happening on some of my Microbits um, quite often. But I'm not the only one. I've noticed in all the STEM clubs that they're getting similar problems. Um, and perhaps about um, uh, one in four uh, students is having problems just like this. So let's have a look at it. I'm going to use this mind map to explore the problem. And um, I've um, done some investigation on the in internet and discovered uh, what the microbit um, error codes are. But the error code that I'm getting uh, starts off with an unhappy face. And you can see here I'm getting an error code of 537. And that's not listed on the um, microbit.org website. Okay, so um, perhaps I need to update my firmware. And the firmware is a um, piece of software that um, helps the hardware to work. So the hardware is the physical part. It's the bits that you see, but it's also the bits you can't see, the tiny bits and the electrical circuits that make it work. And the firmware is always there. Uh, even when you download and um, occupy flash memory, uh, the firmware doesn't change. And it's used by the communications processor inside the microbit. But it might need to be updated. And to update it, I'm going to look at not only the uh, firmware, but um, having a look at all the versions that's going on. So you've got quite a complicated system here. You've got the make code, you've got um, uh, the hardware, the micro bit, and you've got the firmware. I guess the easiest one to have a look at is um, if you look at your make code and inquire, you can find out what version you're currently using. So um, you've got no control over that. If you happen to be using uh, make code on Chrome, uh, you um, get what's coming for uh, today, which is the latest version. And it also supports web USB. And we'll talk about that later. So what version of microcode? Well, turn it round on the back and on the bottom right, you'll see a very small uh, printed code there. And um, the one here that I'm looking at is version 2.2. Uh, and that's the um, version of um, microbit that I'm currently using. So that means I've got to um, download the firmware uh, from microbit.org uh, for this particular version of the hardware. So how do I know which version that I'm currently using? Well, if you um, connect your microbit with a USB cable, it'll come up as um, the um, microbit uh, here on D. And uh, what you need to do is explore the details file. And a couple of years ago, um, this is a printout that I got, and it told me that I was on version 241. But more recently, uh, today, um, I noticed that I'm now, after updating it, I'm now on version 257, and that's the latest version. So um, how do you um, update your firmware? Well, the microbit has two modes. One's a normal one, and that's... Um, because when you power up and you when you want to uh, download your uh, software, uh, it will just come up as um, microbit as a, uh, a USB device when you are using File Explorer. But if you want to go into um, maintenance mode and you need to do this, 
when you're updating your firmware. So um, to do that, you need to unplug your micro bit, um, then hold the reset button down, keep holding it down, then plug in your micro bit. The other end is connected to your PC. And when you've done that, you download the latest firmware into your micro bit, just like you would uh, do normally when you're downloading your own software. And um, if you're looking at it um, on File Explorer, it will come up as maintenance instead of micro bit. And you just download your um, firmware just like you would with your normal uh, software. So it goes into your micro bit. After it's um, downloaded, it will reset and come back up again as uh, micro bit. Okay, so I keep a log of um, what versions I'm using on my micro bit. And so this one is um, version 257. And when I do a project, I note that down on the project details. So here's one of my projects, uh, the one that I'm working on today. I want to resolve these areas, errors uh, when I'm downloading software. And is it a firmware problem? Uh, do I need to always update to the latest version of um, the firmware? Hardware-wise, I'm using version 2.21 of Microbit. And the procedure is that um, I'm going to start off with updating to the latest uh, version. And I'm going to um, try to download my software in two different ways. Then I'll, I'll observe the results and I'll communicate those with microbit.org. So the procedure, I've updated. And when I download my software, um, I'm going to use File Explorer. And uh, that will treat my microbit as a USB device. So that's uh, method one. Method two is that I'm going to use web USB. So uh, I won't be using uh, File Explorer. Um, and if I want to save my file, I still need to use that later on so that I've always got a copy of my uh, software that I can um, store. Okay, so um, my observations were when I'm using File Explorer, I was getting the error code. And um, when I um, attempt to uh, use Web USB, uh, so after I've um, uh, paired my uh, microbit with the Windows PC and it um, is available on um, my Chrome browser, I press the button for download on the left and not the one on the right. And the results were, um, yes, I updated the uh, firmware, no problems with that. And um, I still had problems uh, downloading my programs into the microbit. And the only way that I could resolve it was to use web USB. Okay, so um, I thought this was quite interesting. There was obviously a um, systemic problem here and uh, microbit have a, a problem. So um, I got um, two help tickets from um, microbit.org and I spoke to Mark Williams um, earlier this month and he confirmed that... Um, uh, what the problem was that part of the uh, hex file data was not arriving at the micro bit. So there was a communications problem there. And um, we uh, also looked at some of my uh, programs and about one in 10 uh, downloads failed. It was quite random. But when he looked at this on numerous occasions, the... Um, extent of the problem was that about 40% of the files were not being downloaded. And uh, Mark suggested the web USB method to resolve the problem as a workaround. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, components of, of what's going on here. On the left, we've got a Windows PC and we've got the microbit computer. In w Windows, we've got a Chrome browser and um, it's working with make code and we've also got file explorer we want to communicate with the micro bit we have a usb driver another piece of software on our windows pc and in micro bit we've got two computers we've got the 
communications computer and we've got the main computer. So the main computer is where your code is being executed from and they're both uh, using shared flash memory. So um, the Chrome browser talks to make code and uh, once you're happy with that, I would normally um, save the file and it's accessible by File Explorer. And that can be transferred using the USB driver uh, to the um, microbit computer. So um, the communications processor there is using the firmware to um, uh, grab the, the uh, code coming in and uh, it places it in flash memory. So normally it works quite well. But occasionally, and with some micro bits, we've got a problem and we get this error code. Uh, and one way was um, to upgrade, and it's always recommended to upgrade the firmware to the latest. And that's what I did, put it in maintenance mode. And it worked. And it worked some of the time, but not all of the time. So uh, using USB, using web USB, the Chrome browser will talk to the USB driver directly and um, we're getting a, a better result. So uh, for some of the references, go to um, microbit.org, the website. You can learn a bit more about firmware, what the error codes mean, and uh, the meaning of the fail.txt file. So uh, that's all from me from the uh, time being.